Welcome back to one. Oh, gotta love a little blood splurt. Um, <laughs> love these. I, I really miss these atmospheric tracks and off. I can't believe I was such a such a putz for not uh, getting to these sooner. Um, I got recommended off liter or home rather literally years ago. Oh yeah 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 yeah. This is the place I remember. This was an off. That's just where Zachary was. Um. Dinner tonight was about a pound of strawberries because I I got a big thing of them and I I forgot to eat more of them yesterday and Sunday even. Ah, if it isn't due. It's quite okay. Huh. What makes you think that? He's kinda like scrunchled up. Blight looks sad. Oh, yeah. I have a lot on my mind right now. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Blight? Yeah, kid? Ghosties say their monster here. Is Bite Scene Monster? Monster? Well, this place has spectral problems in the past. It's possible that such thing could still occur here. You hear that, Sir Tap Tap? We take care of monsters. Moo. Moo. Hi, Parker. Parker says hi. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> You're a loud boy. Listen to my loud son. Ground floor. Let's go to floor 1,000. Floor 10,000. No. Go love that little splurt. Mew. Mew. <laughs> Parker is mewing too. Ah, oh, the basement. I remember the basement. All right, let's not go to the basement. This is a silly place. The basement, I think, was the original. Um. What's that? I think the basement was the original um, openly looping map. A color of rage has been found. Mew. Mew. Parker. Oh, fingers on the wrong key. Now you get a color. <laughs> they dead. Do feel sick. Ew. I guess confirmed that things have blood in off, by the way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was a thing in the original. Park, Park the Beast, please. Yep, yep, it's looping. They do be looping, though. Spookum's eyes. Ah, there's the body. Evil corporeal of nightmares. Crepuscule. Whoa, it's only weak to needle? I would say like corporeal form of nightmares or something. Odd way to put it. Yeah, they're weak to needle, alright. Parky. Parky, you're kind of in the way. I'm always surprised how many people, like Parker will do a loud meow in a video, and people are like, is that your dog? Is Parker a lizard? I've heard dog, lizard, and bird. And they all seemed relatively serious. But yes, Parker is a cat. And I have literally over a hundred videos of Parker, in fact, on my channel. So that's ooh, a little odd how much people seem to not understand what Parker is. Whoa. What are you? Mr. Eye Crotch. Mr. Balloons. Mr. Balloon. Parker! Get off the keyboard. Mr. Balloon Hands. Oh, dang it. No. Do. Third eye. Splice! A ghoul with split personalities. Weakness, none. I guess it's only resistant to smoke, though. He's not quite arm, hand, ain't a scratch. I do like that the, um, you see Dew cries when he's blinded. I like little touches like that to kind of just show your character is messed up in some way. I can, <laughs> the creator is definitely a person of culture to have, um, used this track so much. This track was direly underused in the original game.
And it's like one of my favorite chapters. Ah, Parker. Not quite the cleanest loop. Parker, would you please get down, honey? There you go. Charge with balance. Also put on auto. Oh. I, I, actually, I should probably heal. Figures. Why, is, why do things do zero damage? This is very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. I, I hate I hate seeing that zero. I hate it so much. Why does it do that? I don't remember that being a thing in the original. Yeah, I'll attack you with meat. Probably just go back upstairs. Get that free heal. I'm so cheap, but come on. It's free. It's free real estate. Hit points, blah blah blah. Choose a floor, basement, ground. You're already on that floor. Let's go to the basement. Is the basement on? Oh! Basement! What's with the weird dummies? This kind of looks like. This kind of looks like Zachary's home. I'm drinking some smoke, warm and cozy. Two can't read it. Who kept this fire burning this whole time? It's a bed. Somebody sleep here? They smell funny. Make do sick. That, that's booze. Maybe it's just smoke. A save orb has been found. <laughs> oh hey, it's like Final Fantasy VII. Well, that was a quick save and a pinch, one-time use. I'm really glad when items like that like let you know if it's infinite or not. It's hard to tell sometimes. So this blights room. Let's let's ask him about it maybe. Oh right, merchant and all. Uh, got plenty of eyes. Inspiration. Let's get some inspiration. Just so we can use it to, like an attack if we. Defensive Equipment 2. Defensive Equipment 1. Or for do and for party. Well, let's get that. I guess it's just like tier 2. Like it's the second in a line of progression. Battle some needle. Yes. Needle for battleness. Very. Very yes. All right, I should probably buy more things, but I'll just leave. He, lo he does look like a sad boy, doesn't he? All right, I gotta equip things. I always thought it was a little weird, especially like, even Earthbound has like a thing where it's like, hey, you just bought a thing, would you like to equip the thing? Like, why would I buy an equipment and not, you know, equip it? I always wondered how many people forgot to do that. Because a lot of games were very insistent telling you, like, hey, you gotta equip stuff. And it's like, well, couldn't you just assume that when I buy a thing that I want to equip it? And then, like, ask? But whatever. I'm glad the games these days, uh, a lot of people think, oh, games ha aren't that different from, from like, even PS2 days. It's like, well, the games have changed a lot in terms of, <laughs> I knew it was going to be meat. Uh, games have changed a lot in terms of accessibility and... Um, you know, <clears throat> UI friendliness, and they take a lot more consideration, like, people- games are made by people that have played games, right? So the first series of games, they're, you know, everybody's running buck wild, everybody's just making their own crap, and like, there's not really a guidebook. When you're making Super Mario Bros. 1, what do you have to look at, right? You don't have much. Um, and when you're making, say, Mother 1 especially, you know, there's not many RPGs out there to base your stuff on. Obviously, it's based off of um, Dragon Quest, but, um, you know, compare a recent Dragon Quest game to those very old Dragon Quest games. Um, there's a lot of improvements to be made, like, um, in terms of, like, oh, inventory limits tend to be bad unless you're doing something, you know, gameplay-wise with them. Um, item descriptions are very good to have. I hate when games don't have item descriptions. Um, 
Like I said, the whole deal with auto, like, merchants asking if you want to buy things. Uh, love that Earthbound had that. And just, just a lot of user experience updates like that. In fact, playing The Last of Us 2, I enjoyed the accessibility options almost more than the game, because the, the accessibility options in that game, no matter what you may think about it um, story or gameplay-wise, the accessibility stuff is absolutely top-notch. It's, uh, it's really great. And if you're going to make a game, I mean, you, it's a very high standard to look at, but um, check out what they do. It's pretty cool. I'm torn on how I feel about the eyes thing. I feel like the enemies being just black, gray, and white was a pretty critical aspect of the style. Obviously, fan games are allowed to deviate in their own ways, but it feels like a really big deal and it's just a normal enemy. I feel like that's more appropriate for bosses. Or if I hit a certain point in the game and then enemies started to have color, that would be really impactful. But it just kind of seemed like a random enemy, just kind of to emphasize that it's an eyeball instead of like a weird boob or something, I guess. Maybe that's, maybe that's why, I don't know. You could have given them, like, um, slit eyes, then it would be clear. <laughs> I kind of- and I now kind of- I said that as a joke, I kind of wonder if that was like- It's like, oh dang! My eye monster just looks like boobs! I gotta edit it. I gotta- I gotta put colors so people know it's not boobs. Blood furnace! Don't breathe this. Corpse smoke. Don't breathe this. He hungers for more. Do don't like book of paper. Yeah. Well, it seems like a good idea to just go downstairs and just have a good old time. <laughs> Did anyone else just? Ooh. Oh, oh, that hurts. The blood path hurts. Blood path hurts my eye. Oh, oh! You're, we're doing puzzles, and we're doing walk puzzles, and the ground hurts you. Good. I mean, it doesn't hurt you that much, but okay. Last one. Oh, I, I always hated. <laughs> I always hated this kind of puzzle. <sighs> this is even. Oh! Okay. I, I knew what I was doing, yes. Um, at least they give you a heal after you. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to get upset. Hello, do. Blight? I'm sure you're confused as to why I'm here. Well, it's a long story. Blight scared do. You have every right to be. <laughs> um. Blight? S stay away! See, I've been lying to you about who I am, about everything. N no, leave Do alone! Oh, that's why he has the little dots of red. Have you ever felt rejected? Cast out by everyone? Do no get it. I don't have- I don't have anyone except my dad, dude. I have no concept of what rejection is. That's just it. You haven't. Oh, okay. Nor have you ever been the one to reject. For you know the true nature of someone, you see them all as friends. Oh, shit. <laughs> that one punches home. You, however, had your doubts about me from the beginning. What Blight doing? Do you know why they call me Blight? Because you have stinky fly animations around you? Because that Blight's name? <laughs> this is, that's a pretty reasonable answer, actually. No, far from it. I call myself Blight because I'm a plague. I've diseased myself and everyone. Ah, but I'm straying from my point. Do forgive me. For what? I am the monster that resides in this mall. I am the reason those people disappeared. Oh shit, he's Paul Blart, flesh mall. Don't, don't eat me, please. Each and every last one of them. I hate their souls. All but one. You can eat specters? 
Why Blight lie? Because I was... I was created by the one who kidnapped your father. I am your enemy. Oh crap, he's the dude! He's the Zone 2 dude? Please forgive me for this. He looks edgier with the mask off, honestly. Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, he's big. I'm so sorry to say it, but he kind of looks like... Um... Oh crap, what's that thing called? Oh god, I don't remember the name of it. The thing with the candy corn hole and trolls. Um... Oh god, it's completely blank in my mind. I'm gonna get so many comments. Tap tap! How dare you forget my favorite anime? I'm sorry. Undertale, that's it. Um, I do not wish to fight you two. At the time I spent observing you and your father, I've learned that doing what my creator is doing is wrong. Look how edgy he is with the <laughs> You gotta be edgy. You gotta have a hooded sweatshirt to be edgy. That, that's that's an oddly prevalent thing. But you gotta have blood wings too. I was forced to believe that recreating the world would bring those who lost their forms happiness. Instead, it was only driving them mad. Why blue bite fight do fight do? Fighting in hopes to provoke you to fight bleh, provoke you to fight back. As we speak, I'm slowly dying. You and I are like both unstable and burnt. Unlike you, I can't control it. It's slowly eating me alive. When it succeeds, my life will end. I however, want you to be the one who kills me. I lied to you, so it's only right. Blight. This is such a common thing in video games. No one knows how to kill themselves. People just want... They want you to kill them. Everyone wants comp-assisted suicide. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like, if you just want to die that hard, I mean, you got a sword right there. But whatever. It's dramatic this way. Unstable burnt merchant. Well... I guess that's all we're getting. I know. Hasty strike. Hasty strike. I do wish the, um, I get why Do has more attacks, but the whole reason that we had the, um, you know, Alpha Omega and stuff, the little options in, in the original game is because um, you know, to give you that variety in combat, I am a little surprised. I figured we would get more party members by now. They don't need to be real people, they can just be little fake ghost dolls like buttons. But, uh, yeah. Never asked to be put on this forsaken world. I was forced into existence by my creator. In the end, I was tossed aside as a failure because I didn't hold up to expectations. I was left to rot alone. My lonely travels, I came across you and your father. I was intrigued, fascinated by how happy you two were, despite the world you lived in. I longed to be happy like that. Alas, I had no purpose. That was until your father was taken by my creator. See, I did not take my form for you. It was the form I was created with. Just a broken replica. A replica of your father, Zachary. Yeah, that did seem... That, that does make sense. This music is definitely doing stuff that I could not imagine being in the original game, but it doesn't make it bad. I do like the ooh. You gotta love a little of that, right? Oh, oh, I hate the critical misses. Why is that a thing? I don't want that to be a thing. I really like the game, but I really do not like critical fumbles being a thing. Alright, it's time to heal. Uh, fortune ticket on buttons. Uh, seeing that I was just reckless with Zachary, I took this place in a merchant. This place is a merchant to help guide you. I could tell from the beginning that you were strong, possibly even strong enough to take down my creator. That you've dreamt of seeing the old world before it was wiped by the batter. 
I have as well, but I will not live long enough to see that day. I'm kind of wondering if he's like just a story boss and I just need to heal constantly instead of trying to fight. Because his, his dialogue doesn't appear to be triggered by the damage I'm doing. Could be wrong. So it's hard to, oh, it's hard to tell with this stuff. Oh, stop, stop that. Synth, I just, I just don't think I would hear a synth no, off. I will say the looping. The looping is not quite. The the looping is the one thing in the music that is like. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong about the. Maybe I'm wrong about the just wait thing. Maybe he just has to say it on his next turn. I don't know. They just kind of seem like for a second there. It does kind of screw me up. The do is at the bottom on like graphically, but menu wise, he is at the top. There we go. Rip. I'm so sorry, Blight. Adversary's purified. Do level 14. Come now. Deal the final blow. No! Do no kill Blight! Why do you refuse my wish? Because Blight's a dude's friend. Do no want hurt friend. You honestly can consider me a friend? Yeah. Blight helped do. Is that the only reason? No. Blight do's friend because both alone both have each other. I don't know what to say, since my creation have had no one who cared about me. Do care. Do care a lot. Ah, uh, then if you and Sir Tap Tap would allow me. If you would allow me to come be me you? Of course, Blight come along too. Thank you. I promise not to get in the way. Blight join the party. Sadly I cannot help you remove this barricade. But the beast who rules this zone. Suggest your destination be the park, Tap Tap. Alright. Convenient save point. Well, take a look at. Uh, there's Blight! What's he got equipped? <laughs> He's a mistake, poor guy. Hey, lots of HP though. I mean, he is an adult. I am like a tiny babu, so that does make sense. He's got. Uh, how does that compare? Hang on. Oh, he's got really good stats. Interesting how. Blood hurts. If there's one thing I've learned from video games, it's that blood hurts. It really does. Well, I will be back and we'll be we'll be out of this mall, assuming no more story stuff happens. So, remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. Oh, there he is. I won't spoil too much of Blight's combat, but we will see him next time.